Hello, 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 beautiful. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Karisha from lifewithkarisha.org. And today I have an unboxing for you all. So this is the Louis Vuitton Attrap Reeves perfume. I actually bought mine in store. So when you get it in store, this is the packaging. This is actually the first time I have ever bought perfume in store. I normally get mine online, so it comes in like a box. So I thought these little baggies were cute. Now I did take the ribbon off already. They had like a little red ribbon, which I thought was kind of cute. Um, but so it just has the box, which I already did open so that I'm not like on film struggling. But this is the box, just a regular plain white box. And then you open it and then you have the actual box that the perfume comes in, which looks like that. It has a Trap Reeves on the front and Louis Vuitton. And then kind of kind of twist it a little bit. It's not hard to take off, but you do have to twist. And then we have this beautiful bottle. Isn't that like super cute? I'm gonna show you all before I take it. And it's a light pink little tint to it. A really pretty bottle. And if you can see here, I did get my initials, KNT, Carisha Nicole Tyler. Um, the initialing is free. Um, you can get, I wanna say up to five letters or numbers, if I can recall correctly. Most people just get like first and last name initials, but I got all three because I like my middle name, so um but this is the bottle this is the 100 milliliter bottle and i thought this was nice they also have a bigger bottle which i think is huge it takes me forever to get through these fragrances because i have so many so for me this is literally like the perfect size and what i like about the louis vuitton let me give you like a little bit of a tour on the top you can see it has the LV. Now this bottle retails for $265. The bigger size is 200 milliliters and it retails for $390, which I think the bigger bottle is worth it if you know you're like head over heels for it. I thought I would like this one. I did smell it in store. I thought I would like it, but I wasn't 100% sure since it's my first time with this one. I was like, I'm not about to get that big old bottle. Um, but like I said, it has Louis Vuitton on the top. And then if you look, y'all look at that. It's like a little um, magnetic closure. Isn't that so cool? I really like that. My, little, my lid looks like it's a little bit tilted. I hope it's okay, but I thought that was kind of cool. So you don't have to, it's not fussy or anything like that. Now, before we go any further, I did want to give you all the notes. So let's go over that really quick. So, so the notes for a Trap Reeve are cacao, which is one of my favorite notes to have in a fragrance, peony accord, lychee accord, patchouli heart, I absolutely love patchouli, uh, Turkish rose absolute, the rose in this is phenomenal, ginger and bergamot i love all of those i really love the patchouli and the bergamot and then of course the rose absolute and the cacao so what does this fragrance smell like so the prominent notes when i smell it for me i can smell the cacao the patchouli the bergamot the rose absolute oh my goodness this smells so good you guys this is such a good scent so it's floral and it's sweet so if you're looking for a sweet fragrance from louis vuitton this is definitely it. Now the top notes in this perfume are the lychee, the ginger, and the bergamot. So the lychee is kind of like, puts you in the mind of like a sweet grape. And the lychee is prominent, you can definitely smell it. I absolutely love lychee. Lychee puts you in the mind of like a juicy, sweet grape. One of my favorite notes. And then the bergamot is like a fruity, a little bit citrusy type scent. Um, you don't really get a strong citrus smell from this one but definitely more on the sweeter side from the lychee. The middle notes are the cacao, the peony, and the Turkish rose. I can definitely smell the rose in it, no doubt. Rose is one of my favorite notes in anything from candles to fragrances, uh, body creams. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's not overpowering at all either, but it definitely gives a delicious smell. The rose with the bergamot with the lychee, baby, woo, this thing. Honey is about to make me hit the floor. It is that good. It's to die for. I can easily see why this is one of their uh, top selling fragrances. And then the bottom note is the patchouli, which is like an earthy, woody, a little bit of like sweet spice. Has a kick to it. It definitely has a distinctive smell, but I absolutely love patchouli. All of those together making this just a fragrance that's phenomenal. The cacao is not overpowering. Oh, it smells so good. This is an excellent combination. Now, of course, when it comes to the floral, I do not think that it's an overpowering floral scent because for me, 
I have to have my floral mixed with something else. I don't like like a bouquet explosion. I like floral scents, but they gotta be done right, okay? Even if you don't like florals, I think you can possibly like this one because I think it's a good mixture of the floral with the sweet scent. It is a sweet perfume, y'all. This is so absolutely delicious. And for what I understand, it is their number one women selling fragrance at Louis Vuitton. Um, they also have it in the travel size, which is $110 and you get the four little cartridges. Or you can also get the travel size with the atomizer for like $265. But unfortunately, I noticed that their travel size is always out of stock. I actually have one on back order. Hoping my order goes through, but I don't know because I would love to take this on vacation with me. I don't bring my big bottles on vacation. So, so this fragrance is more elegant. It's classy. It's definitely more of a luxurious fragrance. Now, from my experience when I did wear it, because I did get samples before I decided to wear this one, it literally lasts all day long. I can spray this in the morning, eight o'clock in the morning. My husband gets off at seven o'clock. By the time he's home, 7.30, eight, and he gives me a hug, he is like, what are you wearing? And I can actually smell it, you know, throughout the day, like when I'm cooking or when I'm moving around. I can get a whiff of it and it just smells so heavenly. Now, unfortunately for me, I'm at the house a lot because I work from home. And outside of that, I'm not doing too much because once I leave work, I have to, you know, film YouTube and work on my blog. So I do wear it at home a lot. But for the occasion that I would say this is for, most definitely date night, um, a special occasion. You can wear it like if you're going to maybe a wedding. Um, if you don't want to because it's not a fragrance that is like in your face one spray is enough though But it's not overpowering definitely something if you're like meeting the parents It's just a nice scent that will appeal to a lot of people and people will ask you about it People have asked me when I've worn the samples. What are you wearing? <laughs> so it definitely is one of those fragrances that is going to grab people's attention Without being too strong because some of these fragrances that I have like some of these bond fragrances they are strong with just one spray. That's not this fragrance. Um, but like I say, you don't want to spray too much because then it can become a lot. What I absolutely love about Louis Vuitton perfume is that once you're done using your perfume, they will give you a refill. Obviously, they don't refill it for free. There is a price range. I want to say last time, um, it's about $100 to $300 depending on the size. Don't quote me on that. Always check with your store. But that is absolutely phenomenal that you do not have to pay full price for a new bottle. You can just take it in store and get a refill. Like, who is doing that? I thought that was absolutely great. So would I purchase it again? Absolutely. It's one of my favorite Louis Vuitton perfumes and one of my favorite luxury perfumes. Um, like I said, I'm looking for the travel size. This will take me a while to get through, but I would love to take the travel size on vacation. Do I recommend it? If you like floral sweet scents, absolutely. With these luxury perfumes, no blind buys, always try it. Check it out at your Louis Vuitton store. Hopefully you can, hopefully they have it there for you to smell and you can get some samples. Now, online, what they do is when they send you the perfume from online, you can request two samples if you purchase online. The issue is that they are low on samples, so you may or may not get the sample you request. The smart thing to do would be if you buy this perfume to make sure at least one of the samples out of the two you request is this, so that you can try the sample first. And if you don't like it, you can take the perfume back because unfortunately, after you try the perfume, you can no longer return it. Uh, uh, which for me is a major con because some of these perfumes aren't available in my store, like the Rhapsody and the Symphony. So I, have, I can't smell them, you know, to interact with them. So I have no choice but to order them online. But when I try to get those samples, they don't send them. So I said, next time I'm going to try to order that actual perfume. And hopefully they send me the samples of that specific perfume with it. Because otherwise, I may have to go all the way to Chicago just to smell, you know, Symphony and Rhapsody and Cosmic Cloud, which makes no sense. Um, but overall, a phenomenal perfume. Definitely at the top of my luxury list. And what do you think? Do you have this perfume? Love it, hate it? Uh, what are your thoughts? Is it worth the money or a bad buy? I think it's absolutely worth it. Um, it lasts all day and it smells phenomenal. So thank you so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.